Hello children, welcome back to e-learning classes and today we are going to do science lesson 7 food and shelter part 2. Yes, but before moving towards the lesson, shall we revise what did we learn in previous video? Yes? Okay, come on tell me what did we learn? Do you all remember? Yes, we learnt about food of animals. Yes or no? Yes. So children, do all the animals eat same kind of food? No. All the animals eat different kinds of food. Yes? And who prepares food for them? Do their mummies prepare food for them? No. They move from one place to another in search of food. Yes? Okay, now come on, tell me what different kinds of food they eat. Plants, then few animals eat flesh. Okay, then few animals love to eat seeds, grains, fruits. Yes, and then the, you know children, there are few animals who eat both flesh also and plants also or bread also. Yes, they eat both kinds of food. So come on. Can you all give me two animals name which eat only plants? Yes, cow and deer. Yes, they are the two animals which eat only plants. So children you can say any names whenever asked for animals which eat only plants. Okay, now come on. Can you all give me two names of animals which eat flesh of other animals? Yes, lion and tiger. Okay, now two animals which eat both flesh also and plants also. Cat and dog. Very good children. Very nicely done. Okay, so now we have refreshed our memories. So, shall we move towards part 2, food and shelter? Okay, now food we have already seen. So, shall we see shelter today? Okay. But before moving towards, tell me where do you live? You live in your house. Yes. So, why do you live in a house? Because it keeps you protected. Yes, you feel safe in your house. You live with your parents, your grandparents, uncle, aunt, brother, sister. Yes. You all live with your family. Yes or no? Same way children, even animals have got their homes. Yes, but their homes are known as different names. For example, you see dogs are kept in a kennel. Whereas lion lives in a den. But cow lives in cow shed. Yes, so their, their homes are known by different names. Yes? And why do they need home? You must be thinking they can, if they move from one place to another in search of food, then they can sleep anywhere, they can stay anywhere. But no children, they also need home to live. They can rest in their homes. Yes? And whenever there are rains outside, they can come in and protect themselves. Yes? You see, just now monsoon season is going on. So, when if it is raining outside, what do you do? If you don't want to get wet, you come in your house and be safe. Yes? Similarly, in winters and summers also, when there is too much cold and heat, you come in your house and feel safe. Yes? Then there are no thieves and robbers and all those you feel safe from them also. Yes, they cannot come near you if you are in the house. Yes? Okay. So, come on. Shall we read this first? Everybody knows reading. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Come on. They rest in their homes. You saw? They rest in their homes. You also rest in your homes. Yes? Whenever you have gone out, wherever you go, if you feel tired, you come home and rest. Yes, you sleep very peacefully in your home. Yes or no? Okay, next. 
A house keeps them safe from heat, cold, rain and enemies. Yes, a house keep them, keeps them safe from heat, cold, rains and enemies. Yes, you see if the cows are living in their cow shed, if they are in their uh, homes, then the enemies will not be able to attack them. Yes, they will be safe. Then if there is rain, heat, cold, then also they will feel safe in their homes. Yes? Okay. Now we shall see the animal's home and their names. Okay? Now listen carefully children and pay attention here. Okay? We are going to see the animal or bird and we are going to see what their homes are known as. Yes? You can be asked this any time. So you see, bees make a hive. You see, honey bees, they make a hive. It looks like this. Have you seen a hive? Honey bees make a hive. Then spider spins a web. You see the spider, he spins a web like this. Have you seen the spider's web? It looks like this. Yes? You see spider web, bees hive. So listen carefully and see carefully. Pay attention here children. Yes, bees hive, spider web. Yes, spider spins a web. Bees make a hive. You see how it looks. Yes, and every day you will revise this. After learning, you, every day you will Revise this so you will be able to remember easily. Yes, then birds make nests. Yes, birds make nests. They lay their eggs in the nest. We have seen this in lesson number 6. Yes, okay. Then a rabbit makes a burrow. Yes, it digs a burrow in the Soil, yes, you see like this it digs a burrow and it lives inside the burrow. Then ants make an ant hill. You see the rabbit digs inside. Yes, inside the soil it digs the burrow and it lives in. And here you see ant makes an ant hill. On the soil they will make a small hill. Yes, that is known as ant hill. And they all will live inside that. Yes, ants, ant hill. And rabbit, burrow. Yes, once more, ants, ant hill. Rabbit, burrow. Previously, bees make a hive. And birds lay eggs in their nest. Yes, so birds make a nest. And what else did we see? You see, birds nest, bees make a hive, spider spins a web. Yes? Okay. Now, you see the next. A snake lives in a hole. Yes? You saw the rabbit digs a burrow inside. Yes? It is quite big according to the size of the rabbit. Yes? A rabbit is little fat than snake. So, it digs a burrow according to himself yes but a snake is very thin it crawls on the ground and it looks like a long tail this we have done yes or no in who am i do you all remember yes so snake lives in a hole it will make a short hole inside where it can go in and rest there then a lion lives in a Den. Yes, this is very easy. Lion lives in a den and a snake lives in a hole. You saw rabbit, it makes a burrow where a snake makes a hole in the ground to live. Then a lion lives in a den. This everybody knows, it is very easy. Yes, next we will see elephant lives in forest. An elephant lives in the forest. Yes. Then a monkey lives on a tree. 
A monkey hops from one tree to another. Yes or no? Yes, it lives on a tree. Then dogs are kept in kennel. Now come on tell me are the dogs wild animals? Then are they domestic or pet animals? Dogs are pet animals. Yes, we keep them at home. So many you know children, they make house for dogs. Have you seen a dog house? Yes? Okay, now you know dog houses are known as kennel. Yes, dogs are kept in a kennel. Then horses live in stable. Horses are also domestic animals. So a stable is made for them. You see it looks like this. The dog house also looks like this. Yes, dogs are kept in kennel and horses live in stable. Cows live in cow sheds. You see the cow shed looks like this. There are many cows which live inside a cow shed. Yes, hens live in coops. You see the coop looks like this. There are hens which live in coops. They lay eggs there and they rest inside. Yes, now according to the topic I have taken one match the following which is given in your textbook also. Yes, so shall we do this? Okay, so come on. Dog, where are dogs kept? In kennel, yes. So we shall find kennel here. Here, K-E-N-N-E-L, kennel. So we will underline and write B here. Yes. Number 2. Where does a lion live? In a den. So den is written here. So we will write D here. Honey bee. Honey bee makes a hive. Yes. C-H-I-V-E hive is given here. So we shall write A here. Then birds make a nest. So nest is here. So we will write C here. So children, here we complete our lesson. Yes, food and shelter. Okay, so you are going to read the lesson nicely and you are going to go through the blanks again. And this match the following, Miss will send you how to do in the textbook and plus you are going to do in the four line book also. Okay, so children, you are going to revise this lesson again and again. You are going to read this lesson and you are going to learn it. Bye children.